Hello friends. Welcome to another installment of my favorite products of 2018. This time it's everyone's favorite category. Well, in my mind, I hope. Eyes. Let's begin. So, 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 so. There has been a lot of eye products uh, in this this year that I've tried. Um, there are a couple, uh, I think maybe two, that I did not get in 2018 that I have to talk about because they're still most used, you know? Um, but let's get into it. Let's, I'm just very excited. And I have to calm myself. I have to calm myself down. My face video was like 30 minutes. I need to calm down. But when you're talking about makeup, I love makeup and I'm really excited. All right. Here we go. So the first thing I want to talk about, uh, let's do the things that are not new for 2018. I think I can do it. I think I remember the ones that aren't new. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best. Forgive me if I, I screw it all up. But anyway, Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is a staple. I could not not talk about it. You know, like it is a staple eye primer. You should use eye primer with every look. And this one has held up for me. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't even know if I would have ever tried Urban Decay Primer Potion if I didn't get them at Nordstrom Rack on sale, but it was the best day of my life. I love this primer. And I will use a different eye primer occasionally for the sake of using up other eye primers in my collection. Um, but I always come back to this one on a day where it's no special reason. Keep, it has that slight bit of tackiness. Um, it has that slight bit of tackiness that allows the eyeshadows to stick but still blend well. This is the actual old packaging. I have a, quite a few of them. I got them from Nordstrom Rack. I'm sure they're good. I'm sure they're still good. One of these, this is like my second big one. One of them lasted me like three years. Like So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, but absolutely, absolutely wonderful. I just can't not mention my eye primer. It's the best. Okay. Uh, next thing is my brow situation. I have red brows today. Let's talk about that first. I have red brows today because I dipped into colored brows this year, specifically red ones, and I loved it. And so, not so much the product that I used, but colored brows. I hope this trend stays. That's all I want to say for that. But anyway, my everyday brow routine. Again, this is not a, a new 2018 situation, but I gotta mention it. Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. I am the shade Chocolate. The Dip Brow Pomade. I'm the shade Chocolate. This stuff is absolutely wonderful. Um, on a day where I am like in a rush to throw a face on, I will use a pencil. But any other day, and that's like rare. That's very rare. Any other day I'm using a pomade. When I travel, I'm taking this pomade in the brush. Um, the brush I use is Anastasia as well. It's the number 12, I think. It's worn off. Because I've really, I think it's the number 12. It's the angled brush and then spoolie on the end. Um, and with that, to like carve out my brows, is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW45. Again, had this for years, but we're working on it. And my e.l.f., ooh, I think this is a concealer brush, the $1 one. Um, this whole brow combo, hold on, on top it off is the e.l.f., Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. When I see these, I buy a bunch of them because they don't last very long. They last maybe like a month and they get gunky and I need to replace it. But still, two bucks a month for my brow. So yeah, and this dip brow lasts you years. It lasts you years. Um, You can, it, it does take practice to get, get it because you can overdo your brows with this dip brow. But once you get it, oh, you don't want to go back to anything else. So, to, to draw your brows or shape your brows or fill in your brows, whatever. Whew! Calm down. Calm down. I'm going to do everything that's not eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to do everything that's not eyeshadow palettes. Uh, the next thing, again, don't know if it's new in 2018. Um, this is the NYX. This is the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. Uh, this is still my favorite liquid liner. Um, it's actually a... I'll tell you right now. It's a brush tip, not a felt tip, but it's a brush tip into a really, really precise point. This stuff lasts all day. It is waterproof. This is the shade black. I'm not even sure if they come in other shades. Um, I only care about the black one. This is the shade black. 
Like I said, it is waterproof. I can get a balm wing without tape. I don't risk it that much because I have shaky hands, but if I am going to have to try to use do a wing with any liner without tape, it's I'm going for the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. It comes off with like micellar water or um, any other oil that can break down makeup, but it's going to last you all day. Your wing is going to be flawless. You can get really precise and really tiny thin lines. Or you can just go Amy Winehouse if you want. But it is wonderful. Love it. I love all these things. They're my favorites. Let's see where I'm going with this. Alright, let's talk about lashes real fast. Let's talk about lashes. So, Coco Lashes. This is a brand that I discovered a while ago. Um, years ago. But... They're still my number one lash, lash, calm down, lash brand. I'm not wearing falsies today because I didn't want to wear falsies with this look, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> uh, this brand of lashes, I don't think any lashes are over $8. Um, I refuse to pay that much for lashes. I might try a more expensive pair just to see what the hype is about. Like if I go to IMATS and try some or something, but this is not what I'm about. I love them. This is the this is the style Madame Wispy. These are kind of gross looking because I've used them. Um, they have clear band lashes, which I love. They have uh, double and triple stacked lashes. Um, and one thing that I really like about Coco Lashes, other than the price, is the variety of styles. Like you're getting, they have so many different styles of lashes. Soho and Queen Bee are other favorites, but. The other thing is I have large eyes. This is one of the very few brands where, no, your lash is not supposed to touch right here. It's not supposed to, but I mean, let's go a millimeter out. They will go all the way across my eye. So a lot of times people who have cocoa lashes, I know they have to trim them, but Big Eye Candace does not have to trim them, but they fit and they just, they go over the entire eye. I don't have to position them where they're a little bit in the middle. Like I don't have to sacrifice any of my lash line to wear lashes and cocoa lash, I, beautiful another brand that's pretty long for me that's good that has a long band is um the eyelore ones with vegas nay but they don't have as many nice styles that i like that coco does you can get coco lashes on ladymoss.com and um yeah a lot of them i stocked up at imax uh i keep talking about imax sorry if i keep mentioning it because i just got my tickets sorry but anyway i do stock up on these at imax because they have good deals like four for 20 or something like that so coco lashes Alright, the next, the last thing before we get into eyeshadow palettes. I don't have any lower eyeliner in here. I kind of really been, this year I really went through my, not went through my liners, but like tried various ones. There wasn't one that stood out. There wasn't one that um, I used a lot this year that like I could say was my favorite 2018. Not much to talk about there. But anyway, single shadows. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> single shadows. I keep burping. Single shadows. Uh, again, that was also. I love singles. I love singles. Um, you know, Coastal Sense and all those things. Nothing again new this year that really was like, I've got to throw in the favorites. They're bomb. I had a lot that I raved about, but I just can't honestly just put it in because it's bomb. These are things, my favorites are things that are just outstanding in a way. Just wonderful. And that is the Morphe Pressed Pigments. Um, I think I got my first ones a couple years ago, but last year was when I really stocked up on them because I realized I loved them. Um... And this shade I have here is Smoke and Mirrors. I have quite a few. Um, and this shade is Five Star Luxury. There's just a couple I want to show you. They are soft to the touch, but not, um, not, what's the word? They st still have a good press to them. Um, I'm sure they're easily to be broken. I'm not going to try to break one. Uh, but they have, they're, they're powdery. Let me calm down. When you put your brush in them, they behave like a normal shadow. But when you swatch them and when you put them on your eyes, they have an almost wet look to them. They reflect light so well. And don't even use them wet because you're going to be blown away. Um, I don't have to use them wet to get that shine, that metallic shine that you would get normally if you wet, use the metallic shadow wet. They look wet, but they're already dry. Does that make sense? And they have wonderful metallic shades. I don't know if this is all the shades. They're about six bucks. Um, 
on Morphe's website, like $5.99. I hope they come up with a lot more shades. Um, again, I bulked up and stocked up last year at IMATS because love them. Um, but yeah, they're not that inexpensive. The pans are bigger. They're not a 26 millimeter pan. They look to be like a 36 millimeter pan. Um, and I also haven't tried to depot them because I feel like they are soft pressed. So if I did try to depot them, they would break. But that's okay. I like them in their own individual. This is fine for me. This is fine. Now we're on to palettes. There was a lot of palettes in 2018. So many that I do have a couple honorable mentions. I have a couple honorable mentions that I'll just mention. Uh, <laughs> but let's let's get into this was hard yet not. So I have one palette that it was not 2018, but I gotta talk about it because it's still one of my most used palettes it's still the one that if I'm not trying new palettes and I need to throw a makeup bag together it's going in there if I'm if I'm just I don't know what I'm gonna wear I don't know what I want to do I grab it Colourpop yes please still the number one warm palette on the market um I, I'm just calling it I'm saying it I'm saying it I'm saying I have a whole review I rave about this palette and this is the first palette Colourpop this is the first palette Colourpop came out with and I have like 20 color pop palettes and still this one takes the cake. The yellow is beautiful, the orange is beautiful, the metallics are great, the mattes are blendable, absolutely wonderful and this is still a go-to like what I'm gonna do let me grab this yes please and get out the dough. Gotta talk about it. Now let's get into these new 2018 palettes. Alright we'll start with Morphe because I'm looking at it. Um, I only have there was a lot of Morphe palettes I think I got maybe this year Whew. I don't know. <laughs> a lot. Maybe like seven new Morphe palettes. I don't know. And uh, one was really just a favorite. And it's a warm palette. It's warm. Um, I still don't love it as much as ColourPop, but I think I just, I just love it. Uh, this is the 15D, and this is the Day Slayer. Again, it's another warm palette. We're tired of them, but I can't knock them for... I mean, they're still beautiful, and they're still just what I love. Um, but yeah, we're still we're tired of warm palettes. They can bring out other things now. But anyway, this one is 15 shades. I got this one from IMATS this year. $9 for this. Looking online, I think they're around the $15 range, $12 to $15 range anyway. But I paid 9 bucks for this. Um, I have the 15 and as well the night one, but I love the day one. The warm tones in here, the warm tones in here are perfect. Um, it's very orangey, but the metallic, you have bronze, you have a, uh, oh my god, what is this? What do I want to say? What's the word I want to look for? golden peach um you have a taupe you have a straight warm like fiery orange and then your bottom shades you have some deep uh cool and warm taupes and browns as well as a beautiful um i want to say copper but i could be lying <laughs> i don't know i just think it's a wonderful palette why do i like the color pop yes please more because of that insertion of that yellow i don't know what that is because they are doing what this one is doing in three less shades. Two less shades. This is tw 12, 15. In three less shades. Yeah. They're doing what this one is doing in three less shades. But this one was also a little bit cheaper. So you gotta look at it like that. But anyway, I love the packaging. I love that Morphe has this thicker uh, plastic packaging. Beautiful big mirror. They still don't have mirrors in their larger palettes. But I digress. Um, and then the names are on the pans. Like, are on the palette. All these things that I wish they implement in their bigger ones. I'm not that upset about it. It's petty. But I give them kudos for doing it. So wonderful all right and then the next palette let's go into the Too Faced gingerbread this is i got this not that long ago over the summer fall their holiday situation this is another um it's a warmer palette but it's geared toward those berries and this is like a holiday party palette you know i don't know what kind of look i'm gonna wear for this holiday party grab this palette i'm gonna tell you this this is the first Too Faced palette i don't like the smell it's not a, it's not like offensive like I can't smell it here I gotta you know get close to it to smell it but I think it smells like play-doh I don't think it smells like gingerbread and I'm also biased because I don't like gingerbread I really don't I hate it so even if it smelled like gingerbread I probably wouldn't like it anyway but I don't mind like it's not offensive enough for me to not like the palette because of the smell I'm just not sensitive like that to things um 
yeah so anyway I like that Too Faced got rid of these big the big pans in their palettes um, or in this palette I like that you get two extra shades in replace of that. I like that the lightest shade is still light. It's not stark white where I could have a matte inner corner if I wanted to. All these shades I can use. None are like too light for me. And that's a big plus for me when I'm looking at palettes these days. Um, anyway, the metallics are variable and are varied not variable varied enough where i don't think there's any repeats so like this could have gone out the only two close ones is this figgy pudding not figgy pudding look at my cookie and sugar daddy here where one of them could have been um yeah i'm talking about these two picks here one of them maybe could have gone but it's still fine the mattes the shades that are matte should be matte and the shades that are metallic should be metallic um my favorite shade is gumdrop which is the bright pink actually and hot toddy because Hot Toddy has a little bit of a uh, dual chromatic property to it. Let me swatch that one for you. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. So. Yeah. So Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. Doing it. Doing it. Doing it. Okay. Whew. The next palette is the Urban Decay Born to Run. I'm wearing that palette today. Uh, this is just, this is giving me, it's taking me back. So I got into Urban Decay, not in the Naked palettes. I got into Urban Decay uh, around the Vice palettes. So I picked up the Vice 3. Do I have the Vice 3 or the Vice 4? I have the Vice 3. And I fell in love with that color scheme. And this is giving me those vibes a smidge. Um, but it's... It's also giving me just new vibes. This is a palette that I love. I was actually excited to purchase. You know, these colors are just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The quality is, is wonderful. These mattes are not as soft, but they're like a step and a whisper down from Lorac. Um, And that's saying a lot, especially the, there's, that's saying a lot. That's saying a, a, a whole lot because I love Lorac and I think their quality is fabulous. Um, but just the warmth, the cool, the neutral, all of these things tied into one palette. I really, I just, it's absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm wearing this palette today. Again, I am wearing Ignite on the lid. In the crease, I put, oh my God. The orange, I put Baja, I put Punk, I put a little bit of Satin Accelerate. I was just layering and playing. Um, and I also have Good Is Gone in the darker areas. I was just digging into them. On my lower lash line, I have Big Sky and Wonderlust. These two on the end there. Just doing things with it. Um, all of them blend together wonderfully. This is great quality. This is a high-end palette and I love it. I really do. You get a beautiful mirror, which, again, to be honest, I talk about this all the time. It's not a, a, a turn off if a palette doesn't have a mirror, but it's a turn on if it does. Um, yeah, I don't care that much. Uh, <laughs> But, oh my gosh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 21 shades, and I think they're fabulous. Also, it's a note, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, but I want to point it out. This is one of the very few palettes where the black is not in the corner. Jet is smack at the bottom in the middle. It's not in the corner. It's not over here. I don't know. I don't know. But I just felt like I mentioned that, and I, I like that. So, yeah. That is the Urban Decay Born to Run wonderful wonderful job Urban Decay again the lighter shades are not too light for me and it just works purples and orange and it works all right my biggest favorite palette of the year is the NYX swear by it palette I already broke it already broke this this is wonderful. I say that about everything. So this is NYX's, NYX's large palette. I picked this up uh, over the summer around September. That's not the summer. Fall. A few months ago. Um, and this is 40 shades. I don't know why I always want to say 35. 40 shades. Bright, beautiful. You can call it a rainbow if you want. Um... Any shade you're pretty much going to need. If you, I will say it's not 
it's not you know you have some rainbow palettes that have neutrals in it a la a james james charles palette this one i wouldn't call it has super like a where let me calm down i wouldn't say it it's like rainbow with some neutrals i would just call it straight like rainbow color spectrum because yes you can get like these are maybe neutral but they're still in the berry family and they are going to make a sultry look um up here maybe okay but they're boring as hell um it's not a well-rounded section of neutrals but i don't mind that i love that it's bright and colorful 40 shades um your pinks your oranges your greens your blues i think it's a good balance between them a nice smoky area here this is a very unique shade up here that light taupe gray um it's a very unique shade uh the denim blue is beautiful they blend really well it's a significant amount of mattes but it's also a significant amount of satins it's not very many metallics some people don't like metallic shades i don't think it's a turn off that it doesn't have metallics i like that it's just mattes and satin shimmery shades not like super thick metallic shades because sometimes they cannot fit they're not as cohesive in a palette um i think Huda Beauty probably does it best where she puts those thick concentrated metallic shades next to like normal mattes which but I don't think it's something that every palette needs but that's the NYX Wear By It palette and absolutely adored absolutely beautiful I've done a lot of looks with this I'm really happy for what is this like 30 bucks 25 for yeah wonderful wonderful all right so finally um this is probably the biggest this is the biggest surprise, like the biggest find or the biggest gem that I have discovered in 2018. And I think you guys can guess, Profusion. Um, Profusion came in the game this year. I don't know where I've been and shut it down. So I have probably now close to like 30 different Profusion palettes and they've all been bought within like the month or the recent month or two. Um, Profusion, they make like holiday kits back in the day. I have a lot of videos on Profusion. Go check them out. But anyway, um, a bunch of their palettes. I think they did really well with their palettes, their holiday line. Just their fall line just I want them to keep them coming their biggest palettes are like this are ten dollars nine ninety nine um their smaller palettes like this are five dollars their lip kits are five dollars really inexpensive products and really nice quality a couple of things to note that I will appreciate they do recycle some shades so like I got the summer collection and then I got the holiday collection and there was the holiday collection was how many palettes I did the math. It's in that video. But out of like 140-ish eyeshadows, I think about 37 of them were repeats from the previous collection. Um, which, not in all one palette, but which I don't mind that because they didn't come up with like 100 new shades. And like these are obviously similar, but they named them something different. No. They was like, we're using this shade again and we're calling it the same thing. It's in this palette. So if you miss out on one palette, it's in another one. And I don't know, I just really respect that. It wasn't so many where you didn't need the other collection or you didn't have to get the other little collection because there was so many recycled. But I'm talking about maybe four, oh, maybe four in a palette this size that were in a, that was in a previous palette in the other collection that they no longer make anymore. So that's what I'm trying to say. Um, I really appreciate that. My favorites out of all the ones I have right now is the Sienna's because it's a warm, I uh, know, a boring warm palette, but I don't care. Uh, I'm still in this phase. Uh, the Sienna's, this warm thing here, all of the larger palettes come with double ended brushes. Um, I have a lot of Profusion brushes, but um, I told you guys in a a video a previous video and and in my live with my sister i don't take the palette the brushes out of the palettes because i don't like that empty space i'll use them but they go right back in so that's weird um and then my the smaller palettes the ones that are 4.99 this royals is my favorite because i think this color scheme is so unique and so different than what we're seeing on the market right now and it's beautiful i i did a look with the yellow oh the gold and and blue um I'm biased because those are my high school colors, <laughs> but absolutely beautiful. So the Royals and the Siennas. Um, a couple honorable mention palettes this year. Well, I say a couple. One of them is the Juvia's Place Warrior 2. 
haven't had it that long. I have some critiques about it, but the quality of these mattes are bomb. But I have some critiques about it, so stay tuned for my video. But it's just an honorable mention because I do like it, but I don't love it. But it's an honorable mention. You feel me? Another honorable mention is the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. I see why people love this palette. Um, and I have been trying this in conjunction with the Rude Cosmetics dupe that doesn't claim to be a dupe, but the Rude Cosmetics palette that I have as well. And I can see some significant differences, but I see why people like this palette. Um, that's an honorable mention. Again, I don't love it. I haven't used it enough to, to have a solid opinion, but it's definitely worth a check out. Like, I, I can say now, go buy it. Um, <laughs> and then the Morphe James Charles palette. Let me get that one. It, I did a review on that one as well. Where is it? Oh god, did I lose it? <laughs> no. I just, I'm so proud of a YouTuber having a collab, but I love the color scheme and the selection in this palette. And that's just a, just a shout out, just a shout out to that. Um, but yeah, so that is my favorite eye products of 2018. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in the video, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.